Did you know that one out of every eight Americans is hungry every single day? That means that out of a class of 25 children, four of them don't have enough food to eat. Imagine walking home from a long day of school. You're tired, hungry, and in the mood for a great snack. But when you come home and open up your kitchen cupboards, all you see are bare shelves with nothing to eat. In our state alone, 55,000 children are hungry every single day and they need our help. A great way to help fight this issue of hunger is to donate to a canned food drive. But after you drop your cans off at the donation station, where does your food go? And how does your food reach those who need it? This is the story of Jerry LeCan and his journey from the donation table at a canned food drive to the hands of someone who needs him. Hi, Mom. We're having a food drive at school. May I take some cans? Sure, we have plenty to share. Take as many as you like. Okay, I'll take this one, this one. Oh, and this one looks good. Great, put in your backpack. You'll be ready to share. Okay, bye. The next day, our friend and her classmates bring their cans to the food drive. The food bank needs a wide variety of canned foods, including vegetables, fruits, soups, and especially canned meats. There's Jerry the can. The cans are then taken to the food bank, where they are weighed on a special scale. The food bank keeps track of every pound of food that is donated. The food is then moved to the inspection room, where it is separated from the rest of the warehouse. This is where they make sure that the donated food is clean and safe for people to eat. Volunteers check and sort the food into different categories. There's Jerry the can. Next, the food is displayed in different sections of the shopping area. It looks like a giant supermarket. This is Larry from New Hope Church. His organization helps to feed hungry families in his area. Larry is responsible for coming to the food bank and selecting the food that his organization will use to help their families in need. First, Larry checks in at the front office because each organization has to make an appointment before coming to the food bank. After Larry checks in, he starts to look for the food he needs. He first visits the refrigerated and frozen food section of the food bank. All the food in these sections are donated by supermarkets. Today, Larry found some delicious chicken and yummy apple pie. Next, he visits the canned food section. The food bank relies on food drives alone for their supply of canned foods. But the food bank doesn't have enough canned meats. An agency that feeds 300 people is allowed only three small plastic bags of meat. After Larry finishes looking high and low for all the food his church needs, he rolls his cart onto a scale. The food bank is very careful about knowing exactly how much food goes to each organization. They also check each organization very carefully to make sure that every bit of food goes to someone who needs it. Then Jerry the Can is loaded into the car and heads off to help someone in need. Bye, Jerry the Can. Now that you know how the food bank works, let's look at how your donations change lives. A lot of people that I know really depend on it. We don't have any other way to get food sometimes. Sometimes our kitchens are totally empty with nothing but, you know, water. And they always are there to give you something where you can feed your children. Those cupboards were bare, and I've never been able to fill them up if it weren't for the food bank. 
just think next time you sit down and you eat, how many other people would like to be just like you? How many other people would like to sit at your table and eat what you're eating? Sometimes the food bank is low on food, but with your help and support, you can fill their shelves and change many lives. By donating more cans to the food drive, you can bring comfort into the lives of many families and feed children who are just like you. It doesn't matter how old you are or where you come from, you can make a difference in the lives of others. Please, donate more cans and you will change a life.